Hey folks, look I hope you're keeping very well and positive in this very strange and weird world we live in right now. Um, but look, this video is about a red deer hunt that I managed to squeeze in end of March, start of the raw, and the timing was lucky that I managed to get it in before the closure of all forests indefinitely. Um, and I'll, I thought twice about releasing this just because I'm aware of how many of you have had plans and trips interrupted because of all of this. And my heart goes out to all of you. And I know it sucks. Um, the reason I will put this out though is because there's people at home now who need some content, but also let's let's please not lose the passion and the keenness. And I know that's very more easily said than done, especially when there's a great deal of uncertainty in the world at the moment, but we all need things to look forward to. Use this time, if you can, to scatter areas that you've always wanted to go maybe, um, trips that maybe they're a bit ambitious, but there's no reason not to plan things to look forward to if you can. I mean, I was a bit bummed that I'm not in Tasmania right now, but it's not cancelled. It's postponed, and I'm personally really glad that I've got something like that to look forward to. Guys, who knows? This new world that will face us after the crisis has passed or moved into another phase. Skills in hunting and fishing may be more relevant and more valuable than ever before, not just on a personal level, but also a very practical level. So please keep that in mind, guys. Um, oh look, I just want to just chuck a thanks out there to everyone who's bought a beanie off me, guys, that helped me out so much and it's just really nice to see people around just flying the flag for this channel and I really appreciate that guys, good on you. And oh, whilst I think about it, Alex Bell, Nick's sorted one out for you, if it hasn't arrived already, it's, it's on its way bro, so I really hope you're doing well. Anyway guys, here's a red deer hunt, start of the roar, hope you enjoy the action. That's a good waddle, mate. Well, it made a lot of sense to have a natural feast happening. Some beautiful duck breasts here. Two wood ducks, two teal. Been saving them for this. So it'll be great. I think that'll go wonderfully with some of these pine mushrooms that I picked up just before. So they're about I don't know, 12 hours old. I um, They're a bit darker because I let them to dry near my car air conditioner. And um, that helps them preserve a little bit, even though it darkens off the colour. It also intensifies the flavour a bit when you draw a bit of moisture out of it. So. I'm gonna have a bunch of these fried up with some butter and garlic. See, there's this nice natural orange colour. It's beautiful, eh? And yeah, I don't want to overcook these, but I'll give them a good hot flash fry in the pan. Going natural. I'll be using the fire stove, I think. Just make a really good vibe and a really good healthy feed to start deer camp off.
What a lunch. That duck is insane. And if you allow the mushrooms to dry it a little bit before you cook them, that really adds to the texture. Less cardboardy at the finish, more like your portobello or a shiitake, kind of that, that bouncy mushroomy texture that we enjoy. Really hoping that this, this is part of the morning. I've just been sitting a little bit further back over there just listening. I just give it like almost 15 20 minutes in each different little spot and shifting along. I never shift so far that I couldn't hear maybe the roars from where I'd just been. So just a little bit further, just incrementally working this entire hillside ridge line and just hearing any roars that come out. Yeah. Set right back there, like the tree fell across the track, and I'm just faced up against a wall of shit which the animals are moving through. I just know I can't move through them quietly. It's just more of it, it's fresh, and it just keeps leaving, leaving sign. Waited out a bit of rain. Got for an arvo hunt now. We've got a mist there. It's clear there. We're on the edge of the cloud. I'm um with the moisture might pick up again, so I think I'm just gonna 
stash the camera away for a bit and maybe that's going to be the good luck charm to actually get something. But um, yeah, didn't put a good up. Truman. Just found some actual fresh shit. Stick it on. Okay, this is good. I also just heard a massive gunshot go off not too far away. Oh, getting onto the last hour of light. So that gunshot that I heard was another hunter I knew who was hunting another part of the forest and he was unbelievably generous and actually split the carcass with me of a nice red spiker. That made absolutely all the difference to me that day, especially considering I had no game meat at home. Can't thank you enough, brother, for all of your kindnesses. I hope we'll get out before it's dark, but it might be wishful thinking. Never mind.
those reds they were on the wrong side of the fence I think they went down about 200 300 meters further down and might have rejumped the fence back into the forest because you know, they just feel better around trees that's where they want to be but I'm staying well away from that just trying to parallel them well waited them out long enough never mind
was nervous as fuck. I've never felt like this. Oh, yeah. I've got to fucking stop. I'm going to look at the footage. And I've got to just stop. Just trying to take the rush out of it. Home. Just got to try and get logical. And the first thing I saw, boom. I look up and I just see him do the big rear leg kick, which is a good thing. That means that it was hopefully heart shock, but he was quartering away. So the impact of the shot would have been back behind the ribs, going up into him. Boom, and in there. But you know, the footage doesn't have him. I just see a little flash on the top of the screen, deer running down. I'm not sure if it's him or not, I don't know, I don't know. Ah, whatever will be, will be. If you fucked up, you fucked up, and you will accept it. Take 30 seconds. I'm gonna find the red stag. That's what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna find that red stag. That's what I'm gonna do. Fuck. Alrighty. Calm, clear heads. Motion achieves nothing. Positive. I've got blood. I've got blood. And there's a fair bit of it. There's a fair bit of it. So he's going downhill. So much blood. It's just it's still there. Big chew up mark. I've been going for a little while now. Oh man, blood everywhere. Oh my goodness. This is sketchy territory. Oh, I can smell him. I can smell him. He's not far off. He's not far off. There he is. Oh my god. There he is. There he is. There he is. I got him. Oh, I need him. I almost, I almost went home yesterday. Just like that, eh? I almost went home yesterday and I was negative and despondent. This has been a bit overwhelming, this one. The need for hunting in my life as well as so many others is just greater than ever at the moment. And this means a lot more than a set of antlers. I tried to shoot the hind, well, one of the many hinds. They had their asses towards me. There was a few broadside and I could have hit that, but I was just on a completely unsteady rest. So I just went up to the tree. Full ant. Um, and I just found another tree, a stump actually I could rest it on. He was just there, boom, and I, I saw the kick, but the doubts were in there hard. I don't know. I've dreamt about shooting animals here, in this spot. Well, more to the point, 25 metres that way. Because the view was excellent. I remember sitting here one of the earlier times I came here, and just looking out over the hills and hoping I'd hear some roars. That was many years ago. Such, such a mixed bag, eh? Oh, this, this week has been bursts of sometimes laziness, sometimes determination. Bit of weather, bit of great weather, bit of shitty weather. And then this old overhanging crap about what's going on out of, uh, out of the forest. But I'm happy to be isolated this way. I, um, I got an email this morning saying that uh, it was a Monday the 6th, all forests will be closed indefinitely. Anyway, I might be one of the luckiest hunters in New South Wales at the moment. Get this a day before the closure. You're an absolutely beautiful animal, man. And you're gonna you come at the right time, that's for sure. I really, 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 really need you and your carcass right now. <laughs> Eating rut ruddy stag all the winter. No, that's cool. In fact, I'm gonna make a point of putting up a few recipes for everyone to um, to enjoy in that regard. Sorry folks, I'll have more, more reflections later. This is just a bit of a, a massive thing on the head right now. Bussa. Tuck, brother. Good on you, man. This is gonna be a rabbit, a duck, and now a proper deer. This is, this is what you intended it for, I think.
Pain is worth it. It's painful, but struggle may be real. Soon to be over. Bloody serves me right for shooting stags down gullies. On the other half of all this pain, I'm just it's just wild relief. I feel so relieved. Yeah, we're going into round two now. I just had to have a stop at camp and, and pack, I needed to pack everything up and oh, and um, get some, recharge my batteries, get a bit of food into me. Rightio, locked and loaded for round two. Um, not the perfect experiment. I think this will be far better. It, it works so much easier along the spine. Um, as soon as it gets to the middle part of the ribs, it's just it, it, the wobble's just there a bit. I'd love to hear anyone's thoughts and impressions on how they um, use a recipro because I know a lot of hunters do. There's a rack of ribs anyway. I'll do it on the other side and see if it's a little bit different to this. Maybe. What I'm going to do is, I was looking at that shoulder before, and yeah, really easy to carry out like that, but more than 60% of it is bone, skin, and cartilage. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to fill it off, um, just the, you know, the top blade roast and things like that. Maybe you shank off it. Um, and I'll do the same here to this shoulder until I see the bullet damage. You wouldn't believe it. Just heard fucking roaring. Heard next to none of that this week. Just heard a really good roar from the other side of the hill. Oh, typical me, I bloody camera battery ran out, so anyway, I'm all loaded up, back in the car and I'm I'm ready to to go home. Back to a very uncertain world. Um look obviously I'm on cloud nine right right now, not rubbing that into everyone, just just savouring a fantastic day, knowing that there might not be that many in the near future. Anyway, be well folks, and be strong and smart. And guess what? The good times will be natural again soon. Keep it real. I just had a moment there of just... Oh, it's just not about a stag. It's not about so many things. I dreamt of it happening in that spot. And I finally made it happen. You can all make it happen if you want to. If you fucking... If you dream about it, you plant that seed in your head, and you want it that badly, it can happen. It can fucking happen.